Hi everyone, this is Don Schaefer. Welcome back to another exciting class. We are doing a series on personal transformation. And uh, this is all about changing the way you think and the changing the way you look at life and giving you the best opportunity to be you, to be able to put out the best you you possibly can be. And I know we've been pulling up a, a scripture here in Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2, where it talks a little bit about not being conformed to this world, but being transformed by the renewing of your mind. And we've been using the concept of the fact that we are born with a hardware and equipment to be able to produce, to be able to live life to its fullest, to be able to fulfill our purpose in life. And once we get the greatest understanding of how to use that equipment, we can function the way we were designed to be. And a lot of times in life, people are not allowing themselves to be programmed the way they should be. From young on, we're born, like I say, with no programming at all, just the hardware, but we learn everything as a young child. You know, by the time we reach two, three years old, you know, we know how to speak the language. We know how to eat the food. We know how to do everything. We know how to walk. We know all of this sort of thing. We have our likes, our dislikes. All this stuff is programmed inside of us. But what God is wanting us to do, he talks about a reprogramming or renewing of our mind. So we see things in a different way. He says, not being conformed to this world, but being transformed by a renewing of a mind. So basically what he's saying that the world will, um, will help us program ourselves in a way of seeing things, but a lot of times that's not the answer because so much of our life we were, we were born into this world to be successful. God wants us to be successful, but a lot of times the way we see things, the way we apply ourselves, the, the way we look at our abilities, all this stuff is not successful. The world, a lot of times, wants to keep us in a position where we're just mellow out with everybody else and never really blossom to the person that we were meant to be. And that's where today's uh, lesson that we're gonna have here is called Making Time. I am hoping to give you a different perspective of how important time is, how fast it's moving. I mean, I'm sitting right now and there's a clicker going. My time is moving, your time is moving, and that's where it's time for us to get an understanding, possibly, of what we can do with the time that we have. And I'm gonna hopefully give you some light on this. This is areas that I myself have been trying to apply in my life because I realize that time stops for no man. But I have a quote here from Charles Darwin. It says, a man who dares to waste one hour of time has not discovered the value of life. And this is interesting, you know, with Charles Darwin, I don't all agree with everything he says, but this is very true. We, our time is valuable and we need to learn how to use it to its fullest. Once you understand your relationship with the value of time, you handle things in a different way. There's 60 minutes in an hour, there's 24 hours in a day, and it's exactly the same for everyone. So the wiser we can get as to how to handle time, the better off we're going to be, the more our life will have accomplished. I do believe that there are rewards for accomplishing great things in life. I believe our creator is, has created us to do great things and someday there's gonna be a great reward and a fulfillment in doing this. Mind time is totally different than clock time. And that's where I know scientists have looked at this. The clock, you know, there's 60 minutes to an hour and all that, but the mind time is how it handles time, is what you do with that time. Somebody will have a week's worth of time and they will accomplish so much but another person will have a same clock time, but the mind time has produced a ton of stuff, all by the way it looks at it and generates and gets itself, gets oneself moving the way they need to be. And once you understand time can be used to your advantage, it becomes a whole different ball game. Time can be altered. It doesn't, you know, time is something that you can alter to work for you and to be able to achieve things. Time is your most valuable asset. It's the most precious thing we have. You can have, say, I'll say $1,000. Okay, you can lose that $1,000 and you can go back and make that $1,000 up again and put it right back in your bank account or whatever, wherever you kept it. But time is something, once it's gone, it's gone. You can't get it back. 
And that's where time is continuing to flow. And when we realize once it's gone, it's gone. You know, and that's where as we get older, it speeds up. Time has a way of speeding up. And how this works, they say, is as you get older, your connections in your mind start to slow down. And what happens is everything else seems to speed up, including time is flying because you're, the way you process things start to slow down. I know myself, you know, when I um, get on a highway, you know, where I haven't been in a while and there's all kinds of cars going fast, it's a little hard for me because they seem to be going so doggone fast. But once I'm on that highway for a while, then it's no big deal. You know, I can, I can go down that highway, I can handle the speed. And that's the way it is in life. Sometimes we slow ourselves down. So everything, it seems like it's going so fast around. Even in sports, I've read this. You know, you take a, a rookie quarterback who has not been geared up to the speed that uh, professional uh, football players play, and he gets out in the field, and he has a hard time finding his receivers, a hard time functioning until he's been out there for a while. And what happens is he gets his game up. He gets his speed up. So he's going as fast as the game goes. And then everybody seems to slow. The whole game slows down for him, even though it's going at the same speed. You know, and that's where we're hoping to give you an understanding of how you can get your game up, how you can get your speed up so that things will slow down maybe a little bit and you can maybe accomplish more in your life. How you handle time can profoundly affect how your life goes how you live life, it can, how you handle your time. When time is over, there are no replays. And that's the interesting thing about life. We're only given one time to live. The Bible says there's a time to be born and a time to die. There's a period in, be in between. Go on a headstone, there's a date of birth and a date they passed away. And time is the time in between. So we're only given, see, that's where we need to um, handle our time well. It's all about the mind speed versus time speeds. Getting the most done in the short is time. And so right now, I, you know, they call it the human race. And I believe it is a human race. It is a race against time. We're only given so much of it. We don't know exactly when the time is over. We don't control the clock clicking it, but I know for myself, and that's what I'm hoping to portray to you, the value of time and the time we have. It doesn't matter how old you are. You know, there's people that are old and people who are not so old. Time is valuable for everyone. And there is always areas in our life that we can speed up and we can accomplish a lot in life and that's where with that type of understanding we can continue to move on for we live in a world of speed right now the tools available today are almost unbelievable in what we have today when i look when i need to find anything about anything i can it's all at my fingertip that's all i got to do is get on the internet and the answer is there youtube knows everything you know it's amazing the tools we have right now as far as you know, just understanding things or getting things done. It's, you know, I, I was talking to a, a lady just last night and we were talking about uh, with kids, young people right now, it's hard for them to really focus because they have so much going on. There is so much that, you know, pop, 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 pop all around them that they have a hard time sitting down for 10, 15 minutes and listening to anything or getting involved in things because everything is moving so quickly. But I was saying, you know, it's, it's the environment around them has speeded up so greatly. We, right now, we are in a world of speed. You know, and I was likening unto, we stopped one time and we visited uh, the spot where Abraham Lincoln was born. And they had a replica of the building that, or the home that he lived in. It was a one room building with a fireplace. And you know, they had some uh, candles or whatever in there, but they had nothing inside this room outside of a fireplace. You know, in an area that they could cook with there. Outside there was a spring, but it was in like a wooded area. And I'm saying, you know, if you're born in that area, in that lifestyle, you didn't know anything about anything as far as the world around you. Your life would be totally different as far as, you, as far as what you see. But today, things are moving ever so quickly. And we have so much opportunity to be able to do things in life today because all the resources are there. I know in the, in the book of Daniel, Daniel was, was the one that he would pray and fast. 
and he'd seek God for answers of things. And God would show him. He even showed him at different time periods of mankind. But at the end, he says, you know what, Daniel? The books are going to be closed. Right now, everything that you're looking for, this is going to be closed. But in the latter days, the books are going to be opened. He says, and knowledge shall be on an increase. And men shall be going to and fro. And I look at our society today and I say, you know what? I think we're living in that time period right now because knowledge seems to be greatly on the increase. There isn't anything that New York knows that Los Angeles doesn't know within a matter of minutes. You know, it's, it's all right there. And as far as, you know, going to and fro, I mean, to go from New York to Los Angeles, how long does that take? You know, years ago, it was like, months of travel, very difficult travel to be able to travel from one coast to the other coast. Nowadays, it's not that way. So we are living in a special time right now. It is a time we can make time and learn how to handle time. Everything is speeding up, you know, and that's where we better not be standing still. I guess this is my message. You know, we need to learn how to make time by making time, making time work for you to be able to allow your life to be productive. Kids, kids learn how to walk and then they learn how to run. You know, and, and so many times in life, we learn how to walk, we learn how to run, and then we find a good place to sit down and we let time go by. And that's where we need to realize the value of the times we have. Having one of these days where everything falls in line. A lot of times in life, I don't know about you, but it seems like every once in a while I find a day where everything seems to line up. Those are the day that I need to knock out a tongue. Those are the day when, when I'm finding myself in a zone, you know, where time has got me in a zone, where things are clicking. Those are the days I need to you know, get as much done as I possibly can because those are special days. Those are days where you can achieve a lot, but you need to be wise to know when they're there. There's days that don't work quite as well, can't get quite as much done, just can't get my mind in gear sometimes. But, you know, I, 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 when the day comes along and everything is quick, clicking, that's the day that I jump on it. And it's interesting to me, and I'm going to share this with you. It's interesting, and I found this, you know, when I worked, you know, in, in my job years ago, I found that the day before vacation had a special meeting. It seemed like I got everything done. You know, I, I would have projects, I'd have this and that all sitting down. And you know, it would take me maybe a week or better to get some of this stuff lined up. Or you know, it kept get pushed off to the back side of my desk a little bit. But the day before vacation, at work, at home, it seems like everything is clicking. It's all eight cylinders. You're getting everything done. You're making the phone calls you need to make. You're writing down this, you're going to the store, you're lining this all up. Shirley and I were going to Florida shortly, and it seems like it all comes together. Why? Because it's a mindset. See, we've got, we've been given just a short period of time, but the mindset of that, going on vacation, and that's where we need to find ways of duplicating this often, you know, in our mind, being able to be productive in what we do making time, making time work for us. You become a master when you manage your time with urgency. If you can create an urgency, there's an adrenaline that kicks in and you find yourself in a whole different gear when there's an urgency. A lot of times I would mention to people that have a hard time cleaning their house. What you need to do is schedule a party. You know, invite everybody over next weekend. I'll guarantee there will be a sense of urgency. There should be anyway. And you'll find the time to get this place looking spick and span. You'll have your party and you'll have a clean house too. Because that's just the way it works. And that's where like you get into um, running a mile. I, I used to do track. And when I did the mile, which that was kind of my forte at that time, you would learn how to pace yourself. You would pace yourself, you know, and you get to the last link of the a mile and you would just give her all you could to get across the finish line. See, and that's where the people in life sometimes, we need to learn how to sprint all the way. Don't wait until the end of the mile. Learn how to become a sprinter and sprint all the way. See, if I can get myself moving. So much of our life sometimes, we pace ourselves. You know, oh, I'll do this next year. 
well, maybe next, oh, or I'm going to wait until a certain period in my life, or whatever it might be. Well, that period will come, and you'll find that you still haven't done what you wanted to do, what your dream might have been. You know, but if you could say, you know what, I am going to take off sprinting. Every day is a sprint. I'm going to run and work as hard and fast as I possibly can, because I know. You know, and that's where uh, you get yourself into a place where you can't pace yourself anymore. It's a mindset. It's a way of saying, hey, what? I'm going to continue to move fast all the time because I know there's a finish line out there, but I'm not going to pace myself to get to that finish line. I'm going to be sprinting. I am going to be running a, a past so many people that are pacing themselves right now. You know, and sad thing, many don't care, you know, about time at all. And they're just wasting it. I know myself. I get around people and I, I try to stir up some excitement about doing things and they reach certain points in life, they say, nah, I did whatever I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take it easy for the rest of my life. I say, well, God bless you. You know, God bless you with that. But I got a whole lot more to do than just take it easy in life. And that's where I'm hoping, I'm encouraging you because what I like to do in life, I like to shrink a time frame. You know, making it a little bit more urgent you know, to get what I want done in life because there is so much opportunity. And I realize now this is the day of opportunity for each and every one of us. And that's where we learn how, need to learn how to dictate the terms of our day for your day will dictate these terms for you if you allow it. That's where it's important that we need to be in control rather than letting the world control us. You know, uh, society and all this, I mean, they try to keep things nice and easy and control us. I know in life, um, you get to reach a certain age, which I, I think I'm nearing that, but uh, they try to take it easy on you. They want to make you know everything comfortable and don't expect a lot of you. <laughs> I don't want that. I want to be able to use my time wisely. I want to be pushed just as hard as anybody in this time frame. We get an idea in life that that we look for an easy time in life where we can relax and do nothing. I don't want that mindset because this is controlling me. You know, I don't want to be controlled like that. You know, I want to be able to measure my performance and try to improve every day. People who say they're bored, that's hard for me too. Because how do you get bored in a, a life that is so exciting, so fulfilling, if you, you know, how do you allow that to happen to you? You need to continue to improve in life. Look for ways that you can prosper. And top performers do that. You know, and that's where you have to measure up in life. You know, and myself, I realize that the first 30 minutes of my day are critical. I need to hit the floor running. I need to be able to put a plan together for what I'm going to do that day. I write things down. I try to achieve. This is one of the things I have on my, have on my list today to, to do this program. You know, I, I, you know, because I want to use my day well. And I find when I do this, it seems like the day takes care of itself. I fi find the time, you know, I make the time to do the things that I want to do. And I get a whole bunch done. And I know John Wooden, I got a quote here, says, if you don't have time to do it right, when will you have time to do it again? Ooh, that's a good one. We need to make the time to do things right in life. Because if we don't do it right, when will we ever find the time to do it again? So we need to get this right. We need to put the plan together. We need to hit the floor running first 30 minutes of a day are so important and let go of the thief of your time your dreams and your imaginations and that's the past this is the thief that you know focusing on the past can completely kill a future destination because you might have had failures you might have had things that didn't work out well or whatever it might be but these are learning tools they're not something that's meant to Put, you, put the brakes on your life. Your time is valuable. You need to start running and start working and start living that life. You know, making time all about today, right now. Right now, this is the time. I tell people, you know, the future is nice, but the present, you know, how we handle the time right now, and it becomes a way of life. You find yourself making time for all things that are important in your life. And you start to see yourself achieving great things in life, not allowing the hindrances of the past or this or that to slow you down, not allowing comments of other people who say, oh, you can't do this and this will, this will never work. I know myself, there's things in my life 
that when I was young, I had people tell me they wouldn't work. Today I'm doing it and it is working. So don't tell me this. You know, you need to let go of some of this stuff because your time is so valuable. We need to stay connected to the present. You know, when people see that you're not wasting your time, they will get into position of not trying to waste your time. I know myself, when I put my day together, I put my schedules together, all this stuff, when people come in and want to jump into my time, I tell them, you know, I am happy to help you, but I'm going to have to check my schedule and find out where I can fit that time into. And once they start to realize that you're just not living life, you're making time for everything in your life, they will be cautious of trying to waste your time because your time is valuable. God has created you for many great things and that's where I'm hoping that we're leaving you with a little bit of an understanding today of how valuable your life really is and how valuable your time is and that you truly can make time for the things that are important in your life. I want to thank you for tuning in. If this resonates with you, I want to encourage you to like, share, and subscribe to this channel because we're going to continue to put hopefully profitable information every week your way to help you have the best life possible so that you can become the better you. Thanks for tuning in.